It's gonna be a fight, 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 fight tonight. We're gonna fight, 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 fight for women's rights. It's gonna be a fight, 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 fight tonight. We're gonna fight, 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 fight for women's rights. Hello and welcome. I am T. Erica, sharing the latest worldwide news stories that impact women. In anticipation of the possible changes to the Roe versus Wade ruling from the U.S. Supreme Court, New Jersey Democratic Governor Phil Murphy signed a bill this Thursday enshrining the right to an abortion into state law. Murphy signed the measure ruling in response to a campaign pledge. In addition to abortion rights, the bill also specifically outlines a right to access contraception as well as to carry a pregnancy to term. New Jersey joins 14 states and the District of Columbia with statutory protections for abortion. In June, the Supreme Court will settle a case in which the court was asked to overturn a nationwide right to abortion that has existed for five decades. In other news, quarters featuring the author, poet, and activist Maya Angelou are the first to be minted in a new coin series. The United States has started distributing quarters featuring the image of Maya Angelou, making the poet and activist the first black woman to appear on U.S. currency. Angelou is depicted with outstretched arms on the quarter. Behind her are a bird in flight and a rising sun, images inspired by her poetry. The coin depicting Angela were part of the American Women Quarters program, celebrating prominent women in U.S. history. Other women set to appear on the coins include Sally Ride, the first American woman in space, Wilma Mankiller, first female principal chief of the Cherokee Nation, Nina Otero Warren, a suffrage leader, and Anna Mae Wong, a Chinese-American film star. Angela rose to prominence with the 1969 publication of her autobiography, I Know Why the Kurt Cage Bird Sings, a candid account of rape and racism in the segregated South. She also worked with civil rights leaders Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X. Angelo delivered the poem at Bill Clinton's first presidential inauguration, and in 2010, Barack Obama honored her with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Angelo died in 2014 at the age of 86. In Egyptian news, a video of an Egyptian mother of three dancing on a river cruise went viral online, prompting her husband to divorce her and her employers to fire her. The backlash has started debates over women's rights. The short video of Ayaya Youssef, a 30-year-old primary school teacher, was shot on a mobile phone, shows her wearing a headscarf, trousers, and a long sleeve top as she dances alongside colleagues, smiling and enjoying the river cruise on the Nile. In recent years, Egypt has witnessed several cases in which women have been subjected to defamation campaigns on social media, stirring angry demands for those responsible to be held to account. The controversy comes as human rights groups warn of a broadening crackdown on freedom in the North African nation ever since President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi took office in 2014, including arbitrary arrests, restrictions on freedom of assembly and expression, and torture. This has been a Fight for Women's Rights News Blast. I am T. Erica. Thank you for watching.